Unless you are a professional resume writer, you probably can't churn out a professional sounding document in a couple of hours to be the first among many job applicants for the job you're applying to. But to get up to speed, you don't have to become a certified pro. Hi, I'm Debbie Dama Heron, HR consultant and career strategist with freesumes.com. And today we're talking about resume outlines and what you need to do to write one. First off, how do you write an outline for a resume? Think of a resume outline as your scaffolding, a helping structure to organize your skills and relay your work experience in a structured manner. To create a professional resume outline, do some prep work first. First, make a list of your core competencies, the work areas where you excel the most. Then break those down into a list of your soft and hard skills. Prioritize them by marketability. Now think about your latest accomplishments. What made you successful in every role? You will want to make a list of extra professional training as well. You are now ready to analyze the current job market. Are there any new in-demand skills recruiters are looking for? Do you have them? Can you develop them fast? Finally, dump all of your thoughts into a plain Word file then start outlining. It's best if you start with a resume template if you don't want to start with a blank page. A professional resume template offers a fast track to writing productivity. Resume templates provide a ready to use design with all the main resume sections outlined already for you. You just have to fill in the blanks with your personal details. Once you're done, you'll have a resume copy and reusable outline that you can customize for every job application fast. If you use a professionally designed and eye-catching resume template, you will not have to start a new resume for each job application. We know what you're after, so let's get straight into the action. I'm going to share with you a couple of sample resume outlines you can use for writing alongside our free resume templates. You can find the link in this video description to download the templates. First, let's start with the simple resume outline. Here's an outline for a resume with some writing prompts. Next up is a college student resume outline. Now let's focus on how to outline your resume like a pro. Resumes are structured business documents. So as a first step, sort out the resume header area featuring your name, title, contact information, and website or LinkedIn links if you would like to include those. Then the resume body by putting down information in the work experience and education section. Leave some space at the end of the page for a featured skills or extra qualifications area. You can scrap both of those if needed. Remember to stick with a professional resume font and use it consistently for headers, subheadings, and main text. Don't mix different fonts unless you have a design streak in you. Now let's move on to the next steps for fleshing out your resume outline. You will need to choose which section comes first. You have some flexibility when it comes to the first section of your resume. For instance, you can go for a formal resume objective, resume summary of qualifications, personal branding statement, or informal about me section. There's no right or wrong option, but the choice really boils down to your industry experience levels and the type of company you're applying for. As a creative professional, after a hip agency job, you may do better with a resume summary or personal branding statement. But if you are after an executive or corporate job, an objective may be more fitting. Next, you'll have to decide on your resume format. You have three options here. A chronological resume format is where you first place the work experience section in reverse chronological order, followed by education. A functional resume is where you put down a longer summary of qualifications and skills first, then detail education and work experience. Or you can use a combination resume format, which is a mesh of the other two. It opens with a longer skills section, followed by a chronological work experience section. I would like to note that most employers favor the chronological format the most. It's time to structure your subsections and make headings. Your section 
heading acts as a shortcut so the employer reading your resume can jump to the sections that they are interested in without reading your whole resume. Put down the standard resume sections in this order. Header, summary, skills, work experience, education and training. Then organize your information around those. A resume outline is a flexible document. You can tweak headings and add, remove, or swap sections if that makes sense. You will want to make a generic resume first, then tailor. Writing an all-purpose resume first is a great time saver because it stops you from staring at a blank page and it makes customization easy. Start by filling out each section of the outline with your information based on the facts. This will be easy to do with your education section because you already know your schools, the dates attended, and qualifications gained. Then tackle the work experience section. Don't go long here. If you have a long career history, focus on the most recent employment you have and prioritize accomplishments over duties. Once you have filled out your resume template, you can use this as your base document. As each new job opportunity comes along, you can go back to your resume template to tailor it to suit the position that you're applying for. When you see a job that you want to apply for, take the job description and study it carefully to focus on keywords. Note any industry keywords they use within the job description and try to pick up on the tone of voice in their language. Incorporate those keywords into your resume to whiz past the ATS systems plus appear more relevant to the hiring manager. By tailoring your resume content to match the information on the job posting, you will be showing that you care about your presentation and are truly interested in the job. This will help to secure you more interviews and increase the chances of you landing that great position. Remember to always have an original copy of your resume and keep separate copies of your resume as you tailor them. This will save you a lot of time and effort in the future because you will always be able to go back to your original resume content and make a fresh copy to edit. This is quicker than having to reverse your last modifications from your previous edit before tailoring it for the next employer. I covered the steps to help you create a great resume outline, but I do have some time-saving resume tips for you. Challenge yourself to a time limit. When you want to tailor your resume for a new job application, see if you can get it done in 30 minutes. Set a timer and decide on a reward for achieving your goal. Turn off distractions. This includes taking a break from social media, email, in your phone. There will be nothing to break your concentration or interrupt your flow. Break up long sentences and paragraphs by using bullet points to highlight key skills and information. This saves you a lot of time because you will not need to write a lengthy descriptive text. Keeping things short and to the point is also useful for delivering your information as quickly as possible to the employer. Using the guidance we gave you today will not only help you create your resume outline, but will save you time when you tailor your resume. This will help you come across as the perfect candidate that future employer needs. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and click subscribe to get more helpful tips.